We all know that for too long, women and girls in Sierra Leone and other developing countries have suffered in silence. They have suffered gross violations quietly. The TRC in Sierra Leone now provides an opportunity to have the voices of these women and girls heard. I am heartbroken, that's why I'm here. Yeah. I was in my hometown Bobu Tonkia. called Bobu Tonkia. So, then they came. They said uh, he suggested that my father should be crowned chief. My father refused. Okay, Mohammed one blood refused. He said the old man was a bad guy. Yeah. Uh, he said that uh, the man had refused to give him a, a wife and gave her instead to a teacher. So, and so they held my father. And uh, my father screwed him. And my husband screwed him. We are tied together. And they killed my father. And they killed my husband as well. They killed my mother and all my relatives. I saw them cut my father's throat. And they gave me my father's blood to drink. And my husband was cut to pieces. And one blood told me, he said, today, you are my wife. So I agreed. But then I had a baby. I was nursing a baby. Yes, I was a nursing mother. Uh, this example that has been shown to me, uh, he said, oh, what you have seen, I thought you would cry. He told me to, cry, to laugh. I was laughing. I didn't laugh to his satisfaction. He beat me up. My mouth is entirely empty of teeth. So Because of the beating, I was bleeding through my nose. He took my baby from me. Cut the baby into two. So now, after that, Mohammed. Uh, uh, one blood. Yeah, mommy one blood. Mohammed one blood asked me. Yeah, hata, but I'm looking for Piabe. Said, you know what we are, we're going to do to you today? Piabe na boma. You have no relative anymore. Ah, fuji nyanya mi abia. So today you are my wife. Kuda ge inyamu. Well, I said okay. Ele beta akpema. Well, apart from him. Ngati anya nzi. There were so many other men there who were uh, uh, raping me. Me de gati anya. And I had my children. De ge na sa ati sa metu anya. Three children remained with me. So. If I had refused them, they would have killed me. Women were systematically targeted during the war. They suffered rape and sexual slavery with more frequency than any other violations, including forced labor, displacement, and amputation. The leaders of the various armed groups, including the Sierra Leone Army, should admit responsibility for sexual violations of women during the war and offer a public apology. The Disarmament, Demobilization and Reintegration, or DDR program, was accessed almost exclusively by men and ignored the plight of women combatants. Government agencies and NGOs should launch programs that specifically address the needs of ex combatant women and girls, and a permanent commission for women should be created. <laughs>